1994. Yet the sweat drenching my t-shirt was not just from the heat. I was terrified. I knew deep in my bones I was about to get my ass kicked, and there was nothing I could do about it. Even so, I puffed out my chest and clenched my jaw, trying my best to look tough and confident for my 21-year-old hot as the Afghan desert girlfriend. She was 21 and I was 17, so yeah, I was the man. Not that I felt like one though. In fact, the only thought going through my mind was, holy crap, this guy is going to beat the shit out of me. You see, my girl's ex-boyfriend was one of the local tough guys. His jacked up pickup truck was pulled up on the lawn, and he was standing in front of it hurling beer bottles, insults, and threats. His speech was slurred, but he wasn't so drunk that I couldn't clearly make out his vivid promise and he really piss myself off. Come on out here, boy. I'm going to beat your ass and screw your girl. Get out here and face me. Can you imagine how I felt? If you can put yourself in my shoes and feel the fear of knowing you can to protect yourself, not to mention the people you love, then I beg you to keep watching this video and use my story to prepare yourself so that when violence threatens your loved ones, you can help them. I would like to this guy. that night, I knew I could do only one of three things. One, I could accept the shame of being helpless and pretend it didn't bother me to cower from a fight and be my girlfriend helpless. I could bow down to bullies and hope they would leave me in peace. I could live with the fear knowing I was useless and fun. And I could accept the shame of my loved ones and I could chasing down every secret fight technique I could get my hands on, I decided it was time to really test my skills. As crazy as it sounds, I forced myself to get into over 600 fights, keeping folks safe in the seediest and most dangerous bar in my hometown, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And then, working alongside some of the most elite military units in the world, I volunteered for every job that I thought would put me in harm's way. And I discovered a sad, sad truth. I had taken the long road to learning how to fight, and most of the stuff that worked in the dojo was a total flaw, or downright dangerous against real violence. I spent years learning shit that didn't work, and in the end discovered that there are really only a handful of simple, almost instinctive fight techniques you need to know to defeat any opponent. Which is why I made this video for you. I don't want you to waste all that time, money, and effort like I did. Or worse, I don't want you to fail to learn the skills that will keep you and those around you safe and shit that's the same. All because you thought it would take you years to learn to defend yourself. The truth is, I can teach you just days to become a fully effective fighter in real life and violent attacks. I can show you how to keep your family and your friends safe and work the attacks. In fact, developing these techniques 
the way I